Hey everybody, I'm Jason Gillette. Uh, this is a quick tutorial video on the Lincoln Corsair with the digital display. Um, this display can be a little confusing for some folks, so I hopefully this helps you simplify it a bit. So as you can see, I've got the display here. Um, we've got a little bit of information in there. We've got the digital speedometer in the middle. Um, we've got uh, 19 degrees showing. Um, we can see the odometer reading on this, the distance to empty, and the temperature of the engine, and uh, whether the auto start is working or not, and it shows it is off right now so that's all the display information we get I'm gonna zoom out to the steering wheel as some of these buttons help us a little bit so the first button I'm gonna press is the cruise control button this is if you do not know how to turn on your cruise control when you turn it on these light up and you work them from the back not from the front if you're wondering why you can't work those now when I press that you see instantly that says set when I take it away, it goes away. When I press it, you see set, and you see the lines of the distance it'll follow the vehicle in front of you at. So that's the first thing I just wanna show you. Now, the other thing on the steering wheel is we have some menu buttons. What do the menu buttons look like? Well, this one, when we press it, it goes through on the side some menus that I have selected. So I have five different spots that I can put menus in. I've got trip one right now. I've got fuel economy. I've got seat belts. I've got tire pressure and I have calm screen. I like calm screen. It literally takes the information away. Uh, I like it. I don't need it all up there, but I can have it if I want it. Now, this is how we change some of that. You see this little toggle switch? Well, when we go down, it's gonna bring us into some information menus. So when I press down, we go into settings. Now we are display setup. You press this to the side and now we are in okay. Awesome, now I can go in. Now the information screens, those five I just showed you I had set, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna show you which ones I have. You can only pick five, but you can pick from all of these different ones. And if you're wondering why they've disappeared or changed, you probably went in here and changed them. So you can change those if you want. Now in here, we can just press back to get to the rest menu, or you see this little house that's shown up now. It was never there before. If I press that, it's disappeared now. I press it, it brings me back to my main screen. Super cool. All right, let's get back into some of those information screens. Let's go back into the display. So this in this, I showed you the information screens. You can also go in and change yours to miles per hour. We can add a tachometer uh, if we wanna see the tachometer all the time. So if we put it back on home, now you'll see I have a tachometer as well as a digital speedometer. Um, I don't want the tachometer, so I'm gonna take that off. Uh, Eco Coach, this one shows you how to get the best fuel economy um, so we can have it visible in all different modes if we want. Again, now that I've turned that on, you can see we've got Eco Coach set, so it'll tell me when I, it'll be a little green symbol when I'm getting the best fuel economy. Um, I'm gonna turn off my cruise control. Let's uh, go back into this. So you've got border crossing. This lets you know when you're about to go to the border if you wanna change it from miles to hour to kilometers. Uh, and those are basically the basic functions that are in here. Now I'm gonna press home, I'm gonna show you one more thing that changes the screen and this really kinda messes people up. Down below you have drive modes. When you spin this dial, this changes some things. So if we go to the right, it'll change our traction control. We can go from slippery or we can go to deep conditions. Now that doesn't change anything in display really, well I'll just show you what it looks like anyways. When we change it to slippery, uh, as I change that mode, now it just says slippery and if i go to deep snow uh it'll then just say i think deep deep conditions on the bottom and okay but when we're in deep conditions it now brings up my tachometer and changes the way my display looks okay so if you're wondering why does my display look different you're in one of those settings now the same goes if we put it from normal over to conserve so when I put it in conserve, this is for the best possible fuel economy. Uh, my screen looks similar to how I had it before. But if I go over one more and I go to excite to wake up that transmission and turbocharged engine, really drive like a crazy person uh, or fun, whatever you want to call it. Now my tachometer has come back up and my digital speedometer is on the uh, right hand side. So you can see either excite or deep conditions make this look different. And no matter what, playing through the menus, you cannot change this. You have to use that drive mode selector. 
Uh, all right, guys, I hope that was kind of informative for you. Uh, that is the digital uh, gl cluster that is in the Corsair. You have to get the 201 package or higher to get this digital cluster. But if you have one of those packages, now you know how to work that. All right, if you wanna do me a huge favor, click the subscribe uh, button on my YouTube channel and click notifications and you will see when I always have another video up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.